this is all of the hill country. Look at those routes. So these roads out here in the Texas Hill Country are absolutely stunning. They're fabulous, they're fun to ride. However, we still need to exercise a bit of caution because uh, they are dangerous. These roads, one thing about these roads is in a heavy rainstorm, they will flood. So they have these rain gauges over here so you can kind of see what the water level is. So I wonder if this is a long lost relative. I wonder, wonder if we go knock on the door, they let us in. We're Rich and Chris. We hit the road in April of 2020, traveling on motorcycles. There's so many ways to get out and explore. But remember, it's not what you ride, but that it's your ride. So make it an adventure. All right, just thought I'd say real quick, um, a couple of fun facts about Texas, which is where we are wandering around for the next couple weeks. Texas was actually its own country from 1836 to 1846 for 10 years. It was called the Republic of Texas. In um, 1846, it relinquished its sovereignty and joined the, the United States. The other interesting fact is Texas is so big and so huge, 15 other states could sit simultaneously inside Texas. I'm going to have to read them here because I can't remember them all, but they are Kentucky, Virginia, Indiana, Maine, South Carolina, West Virginia, Maryland, Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Hawaii, Connecticut, Delaware, and Rhode Island. Now that's huge. I looked here. See? Oh, wow. So it's not coming from the engine. It's coming from right here. I see it leaking right here. Can you see my finger? Uh-huh. Yeah. What's that mean? It's coming from a shock. So let's see what it's let's see what happens. Let's see what it what we Let's take it for a ride today and see what any air codes. If there's a problem, it's going to give us an air code. It looks like it's the shock that's out. Okay. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, so we made it to Garner State Park um, outside of Leakey, Texas. We got in pretty late last night. It was dark. Actually, it was our first time setting uh, base camp up in the dark, and it went pretty darn quick. So we were pleasantly surprised. Talking about roads, the roads outside of Leakey, Texas. We are so excited to be here. It's uh, going to be it's starting to warm back up again, going to be in the 70s, and we want to tear these roads up because they are simply phenomenal. have set up base camp yep and we are ready and raring to go explore the area what's so cool about this area is there is so much riding they have a butler motorcycle map and you know this because you yes. got it yes we bought that of the hill country yeah. the hill country and big Ben. both places we're planning on getting visiting yes and it's well first of all the hill country in texas is stunning scenery and stunning roads. The roads are just amazing. It's obviously amazing because they made a whole Butler map out of it. I mean, yeah. that, that is telling you a lot of how much riding is out here. And we are gonna zigzag through as many roads as we can explore. We have got the three sisters that are famous. Mm -hmm. They're called the Three Twisted Sisters. Yep. We discovered a route called the Three Brothers. I, you know, I don't I've know. Never if been on that one yeah. yet. So we're gonna explore that. We're gonna wander up to Enchanted Rock. Yep. Um, which and then we, Fredericksburg yes. and the, the Painted Church, yes. all of these. So all of these from Garner State Park is within two hours. If you're just here and you're just doing riding, yeah, you could... You could, you could ride for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Lots of stuff. Yeah, we're excited to um, go and explore. And that's exactly what we're going to do. All right, is that it? That's it. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to go for a ride here in a little bit, aren't we? Yep. Awesome. Off we go. All right, one of the benefits of traveling in the winter that we have discovered is, especially if you're staying in a campground, is the fact that there's not as many people here. And that's just awesome. It's easy to make last minute reservations, which is what we always, how we kind of like to travel because we just don't know where we're going to want to go and what we're going to want to see. So yeah, check out this almost deserted campground down in the hill country in Texas. And as you can see behind me, Texas does have hills, mountains, 
somewhat. <laughs> This particular map is of the Texas Hill Country and the Big Bend area, which is our next two locations that we're going. You can see this, get a right direction. This is all of the Hill Country. Look at those routes. <laughs> so let's just go over what they are, what, they, what you see. They have these labels on here, G1, you see G1, and then you see some orange and you see some red. Those are classifications that Butler gave them. So the G1s are the most uh, the most fun, I would say, because they're the twisty turns, um, wide sweeping corners and all that. The G2s are, are better routes than the regular roads. And the G3s are great cutoffs that cut off into um, uh, farmland and stuff. Okay, but so man, I can hardly wait to get on some of these. Well, we're going today. What are we taking? Yes. What are we going to go explore? Today? Okay, so we're down here at Garner State Park. Okay, we're going to take a short little trip today. We're going to go up to Leakey, get on 337, and head over to Vander Vanderpool, and then down to Utopia, and then back across. It's only, it's only about an hour and a half loop, but it's our first ride we're getting here, so... Okay, um, but we're also going to take a quick jog this way and go check out the Lone Star Motorcycle Museum. Oh, yeah, 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 I yeah. forgot about that. That's up there, and then there's this Lost, Ma Lost Maples also, but we're going to definitely go try to check out that um, motorcycle museum. Nope. Anything else? Nope. Can't think of it. I don't, my, my new tank bag doesn't have a place for a map, but I have a map that will can be used if necessary. I think we're okay. What I have now is I did... One thing I did do is I took my Zumo, my Garmin Zumo XT, and I got the mount for it, and I mounted it on my bike. It doesn't have the controls on the hand thing, but it's a little more intuitive and a lot, lot faster than the stock one that came with the BMW. So what we did is I took it off, and I put it on Chris's. So now Chris has uh, roads. You can see the roads, which is one of the reasons why I would go so much faster than Chris. Not just that I was a little harder in the corners, but I could, I was cheating. I could see where the corners were coming and how fast I needed to go coming into the corners. Now Chris has that advantage too, so she can see it. So what he's saying is I have no excuse if I go slower than him. Yes. <laughs> is that what you're I saying? I leave you in the dust. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, a lot of you guys out there have asked us what kind of communication we have. Oh, yes. So the communication we have is a Cena 10C Pro. Now there's the later models now, yeah. but we've had this for two years. Yep. It works really, really good. We did have an issue with Chris's when we first got it, probably mm -hmm. within six months, the little connection on the back was uh, kind of sketchy and it would break up in and out. Yes, but they were awesome. We returned it and they sent us a brand new one, just like mm -hmm. that, no questions no asked. Questions. And yeah. it's been working perfectly ever since. Yep. Even when we're in really heavy crosswinds or we're going very fast, the, the community, we can hear each other perfectly mm -hmm. fine, absolutely. Because I've heard some people say, well, I'm gonna, I can hear it fine until I'm going over about 45 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, the Cena's are definitely, we can go faster and the, still hear the each Cena's, other. The Cena's are really good for that. We also have the Shoei Neotech 2 helmet, which is a very quiet helmet. Yes. So I think that helps. Yes. It's got a boom a boom mic with a, a little muffle over it to, to keep all the static and stuff away. Yep. But it's a, the sound quality is great. The picture quality, not so much. You wanna communicate with your significant other? Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it. And it has an off button in case you wanna mute them too. <laughs> <laughs> sure, see how you are? Is that why I can't answer, you don't answer sometimes? Oh yeah, okay, now right. I know. I thought it was just us guys that did selective hearing. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. All okay. right, we are wasting daylight. We're gonna go hit these uh, hill country roads and see what Texas is all about. Um, Excited to be down here. Yep. And it looks like we're like, you know, really dressed warm because it was a little chilly this morning. Well, um, it, it's chilly. So <laughs> you can see by the trees back here, it's it's winter, so, yep. but it's we're in Texas, so it's still riding weather. Oh, I know. And, and I actually kind of like riding when I'm all geared up like this. I feel like I put on my shoulder pads and my football pads. I'm ready to. Yeah, I was just curious to what you're doing. <laughs> well, I was just putting my cameras in and... 
It's not gonna lose the seven, are we? No. I found an upside to feeling down. Well, I took a good look around. There's stuff to be learned, but it to be turned, it seems. Yes, there is. You got to pay your So these roads out here in the Texas Hill Country are absolutely stunning. They're fabulous. They're fun to ride. However, we we still need to exercise a bit of caution because uh, they are dangerous and uh, yeah they let us know these roads one thing about these roads is in a heavy rainstorm they will flood so they have these rain gauges over here so you can kind of see what the water level is so if I went through here on my motorcycle and it was at five feet everything but my head would be below water <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how fast I could ride. <laughs> Sabino River Road. Yeah. What's it look like? Well, it looks like two track. <laughs> well, the gate's open, so that's a good sign. <laughs> well, good thing it hasn't rained. <laughs> Don't think we'd yeah. want to be back here. <laughs> There's a container. A container of what? It's just a container. It looks like it goes back. Away though, no, it goes right into somebody's driveway. Hi, oh. <laughs> we're gonna turn around here. <laughs> Sorry, we yeah. thought it was a road. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what it said. It said it said River Road. Yeah. Didn't say private property or anything. So. Okay, that was a that was a quick adventure on the. Uh, River Road. <laughs> it's like the fourth white truck that come by. Fifth white truck. It's huh. weird. Having a white truck convention. All my white trucks. I stalled the bike. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you tried to you just tried to go forward in like six gear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was third. Oh. But I stopped it, and then I started it and jammed it down a couple gears, went into neutral, and almost fell over. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what happened because I was busy looking around. Wow, this is great. <laughs> great. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, too funny. <laughs> is this as far as it goes? Yeah, it's a, there's a trail. Oh. This is that trailhead. I bet you it's a beautiful trail. Oh, I bet. Even though it's winter. I mean, some of these trees still have leaves on them. 
Yeah, it's it's actually really pretty over there. Yeah. There's the tree. Okay. All right. We are at the uh, Lost Maple State Natural Area. It's called Lost Maples. Because there's a Is bunch of maples. Because <laughs> there's a bunch of maples. Because there's a bunch of maples, like the <laughs> one, big one behind us. Yes. It's supposed to be really beautiful the fall when all the maples are turning color. Obviously, it's winter, so we did find one that was still holding its own. And it's absolutely stunning. And... What we can't find is the Lone Star Motorcycle Museum. It is supposed to be between <laughs> here and yes. Um, there's no cell there's no cell service here, so um, not for sure if we're going to find that one today. But it's been a great ride so far. Thirty six minutes. Okay, we found the Lone Star Motorcycle Museum. Guess what? <laughs> it's closed. Uh, <laughs> it's like Wally World. Um, okay, we're gonna try to come back. Someday. We'll see. shelter over here somebody built uh, yeah this would this would not be pleasant oh it's really pretty look at that I know look at this little shelter wow. somebody built over there. I want to know where the hysterical marker is though yeah I don't know huh. so we saw a sign for a um, history Just marker and we uh, go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it. You say <laughs> we we can't say a historical marker. We have to say hysterical. <laughs> it's a hysterical marker. Okay, we saw a sign for a historical marker, and we decided to check it out and stop real quick. It's real pretty back here, actually. So I'm really enjoying the fact that our motorcycles were just like, blam, we're on pavement and we see something interesting, and blam, we can just dive off and check out stuff we probably wouldn't want to go down. <laughs> not with the Harley. Uh, not with the Harley for sure. But check this out. It's got a rope swing. It looks like an old swimming hole. How pretty. I wonder what those trees are. Look at those trees. Yeah, those look like a cypress or something, or maybe a mesquite. They're just, yeah. look at the trunks of them. They're just massive. Yeah. This makes me wish we were traveling in the hill country in the summer because, trust me, I would be doing that rope swing and jumping into this water in the middle of the Texas summer heat. This looks really cool. So pretty. In the summer, this has got to be so shaded. Oh, man. No kidding. No kidding. All right, and then check out over here. Um, Somebody made a little shelter. <laughs> Looks like they made a little sleeping platform. Yep. Have a little fire built. Can... I would say they haven't had a fire for quite a while though. No. Look at that. That's cute. Is it sturdy? Oh yeah, it's super sturdy. It's super sturdy. I don't think I'd want to sleep on it. It looks too narrow. Well, I'd... if you had to get off the ground and sleep, this is it. Yes. Old Taylor School founded in 1883. Um, it burned down, so all they have is the foundation, and you can't get past the barbed wire to go see it. But it's pretty cool to see that the site of a school back in 1883 was right here. I'm not for sure what it is or what it's used for, but I just love it when I find old buildings. You're just 
going to take a really quick ride before the rain comes in. We've been battling a little bit with the weather, but nevertheless, rain or shine, we're still going to go for a quick ride. And then we want to get back to camp because we have some new motorcycle covers that we want to break out and try out in the rain. So wish us luck. See you out on the road. In case you're wondering what we're doing, we're, we're looking for a tree in the little town of Rio Frio. Yeah, we're looking for a tree. <laughs> we'll, one. we'll let you know. Here's one. Here's one. We'll let we know if you find it. <laughs> So if I want, I wonder if this is a long lost relative. I wonder, wonder if we go knock on the door, they'd let us in. Maybe they'd shoot us. You know, Texans do love their guns. I, I think even the cows have guns out here. We'll pass, we'll keep going down the road. <laughs> so we're riding along. Uh, we see a road that goes off to the left and we decided to give it a try. Actually beautiful little, we're riding along a rim and you can see off to the left. Um, some awesome scenic views. Yeah, and some are just a couple are just like some RV pads and other little houses just mm -hmm. off, back off this road. Yeah, there's people living back here. Yeah, like tiny off, house living. Yeah, off the grid is what it looks like. Some of them have um, water tanks for catching water. Is this it? This takes us to the end. Oh, it dead ends. The, the, the Domi Ranch. Chosen as a public road. <laughs> well, I don't think so. Let me get a B shot of that though. Yeah, it shows it as a public road right here. Alright, we've reached the end of the road. Time to turn around and anyway, it was just fun to get off on something a little different. But back we go. We've had some Nelson Rig products and they are awesome, I have to say. We've had two of the Nelson Rig half covers and we had the half covers because they packed up so tight and nice and small and it was easy for us to take them with us yes. while we were yep. rolling, you know, in such tight quarters. But now that we've got base camp here and uh, we wanted our bikes to be completely covered and waterproof make sure the rain doesn't get on them and beat them all up we had this company called yep. xyz ctm reach out to us so it was actually perfect timing mm -hmm. and they have a full length high quality motorcycle cover it's available only on their website so we'll put the link below we got what's called the top version motorcycle okay. cover and and yes and it's go to their website check them out we're going to put these to the test like we have so yes. let's see it's got buckles pretty nice bag it it packs up really nice and small you think yeah. I you think I could get it back like this when I get? <laughs> think I could get it back in the bag just like this? Good luck. <laughs> I don't know. It's a big. It's a bag. It's a zip bag. So maybe it does. Yeah. I'm excited to see these on the bikes. So let's see how they look on the inside. Because this is the part that touches your bike, right? Yes. It's that's. It's supposed to have what they call a soft face inside. But it looks good. It looks like good quality. Mm -hmm. Oh, and these. It's got anti theft. Oh yeah, to rings. lock around the front. That's how you can tell the front two of them. I bet. It's a thick material. It's thick like this. Mm -hmm. The only difference is over the windshield and stuff, there's a cloth piece on the Nelson rig, not on this. That's mm -hmm. the difference so far that I see. We got the XXL black. I think they had a triple XL black. What is that gonna cover? That's like a sidecar or something? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it just goes to the ground. I don't know. I don't know. It does cover everything though. It covers all of the painted parts. We ordered for our bikes, which you know, they're both 1250, a GS and a GSA. We ordered the XXL black top version. Um, mine comes straight to the ground, which is actually, which is actually what I wanted. Yes. Richard has got a, what do you call it? Top pannier? 
Hey, Richard has a top pannier. Or what you call the fat butt. Yeah, what do you have on your butt, Richard, is what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Which is making his neck go all the way to the ground. Quality seems good. Yep, we are going to run him through the litmus test of we do that we do on and off just about every day. And we'll get back with you in a couple months and see what they look like. Here's what they look like right now, brand new out of the box. Yep, and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Yep, base camp is doing exactly what we wanted it to do. Keeping us comfortable when we're not riding. And taking us to great places so we can do lots of great riding. just put these on and we got hit with a heavy heavy rainstorm and I left the the sheepskins on the seats so let's see how they did <laughs> <laughs> so this is the one thing I don't like about this so far it's those clips yeah those, those clips it was a pretty intense storm there for a while Well, is she wet or dry? Ah. It is, yeah, it's a she. <laughs> is Heidi wet or dry? I would say she's dry. 100% dry. Yeah. All right, that's good. 100% dry. Pretty cool little place. Yes, it is. I don't know how I talked Richard into it, but we are going to attempt to to make it to the forty-story building. It's um. <laughs> <laughs>